The mother of a 16 year old boy killed in a motorcycle crash this week, speaking out for the first time tonight about her loss as Frank Recchia reports. Funny kid, loving kid, biggest heart, give you anything. A grieving mom doing her best today to find comfort and happy memories. Just four days after losing her only son, 16 year old Davion Bailey of Oxford, who went by the nickname Dov. Authorities say he lost control of the motorcycle he was driving behind Griffin Hospital Wednesday night and was ejected from the bike, suffering a fatal head injury. After being rushed to the emergency room only a few hundred feet away, the teen was declared dead, ironically, in the same hospital where he was born. I know he loved doing his professional stunt driving. That was his thing. That's what he was known for. That's why Melissa Taylor of Oxford, who's originally from Bridgeport, says she simply does not believe the police account of what happened. Investigators say the teen was thrown from the vehicle because he had been driving it recklessly. This is a kid who was a professional stunt driver. It wasn't a kid who just lost control over a bike and didn't know what he was doing. For that to be the last thing you say about him, that's, I, I never forgive the police for that. I definitely know the pain that you're going through of losing your firstborn, your only son. Family friend April Barron of Bridgeport, whose son Iroquois Alston was shot to death in a double murder more than a decade ago. Is an everyday struggle. Says there is simply no shrugging off the weight on a mother's shoulders following the loss of a son. And that, April says, is why she is urging Melissa to pay tribute to Davion, who will always be, no matter what anybody says, the baby she adores. You have every right, every right to celebrate your son however you want to. And he was going to help his friend. The mom says another reason she's upset, police claim the motorcycle her son was riding was stolen, when in fact, she says, the bike had been loaned to him by a friend. And he asked the friend, can I ride the bike? And he said, yes. The mom says her son was a hardworking and extraordinarily gifted young man, known as much for his clever sense of humor. I mean, he could bring anybody to tears from laughing. As he was for his loving and loyal personality. That was just him. She says friends would always joke her son was virtually a celebrity, a really nice person with a bright future whose tragic death has left a community in mourning. Now I'm seeing how much of a celebrity he really was. Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. She says a viewing is set for Baker Isaac Funeral Home in Bridgeport Wednesday, November 30th, with the funeral the following day. Meantime, they say the public is invited to a celebration of life event at 1425 Boston Avenue this Friday.